Hello. It is Becky Belot. I am a Creative Memories Advisor from Newport News, Virginia, and I am going to show you a tip today. So this is just a really fast page spread. I am going to be featuring the Zebra Stripe Border Maker cartridge, um, as well as the Friendly Fish. Um, I'm going to be using two lines. Um, I have one um, double page spread with What a Zoo, What a Zoo 2, and also another double page spread with Serene Waters. Um, but you can do it with any paper line, and you can do this with quite a few different border maker cartridges. Okay, so let's, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see here. I want to do what? Ooh. There we go. All right. Um, I forgot to set up my system today for you. Give me just a second. Um, that is worse. Hopefully you can see. All right, so um, there's two different strategies that you can do with this. Um, the first one, um, you're going to see both. Um, actually, let me show show you what we're doing first, just in case you're working alongside of me. Um, so the one I'm going to do first is this look. All right, so this is What a Zoo 2, and um, I use the zebra stripe. This is the Zoo Texture Paper Pack. Um, so I, I thought that was kind of cool, kind of bamboo-y. I popped a, a lie in there. Um, I used the bamboo border punch here on the edge using this same paper to kind of blend it together and also give this some texture. Um, this is with the dollop uh, frame punch that I went around this mat here. Okay, so we're going to do this look first. So to do this look, you want to pick any um, double. Actually, it doesn't matter whether you like both sides or not. Um, and you're going to lay them down like this one doesn't have a pattern, but if it did, for instance, let's say I was doing this side instead, which I'm not, but let's say I was, I wouldn't want one to go like this and, and the other like this, that would not look good when we were done. Um, so in this case, it doesn't really matter at all. Um, but let's say that it did matter, then you're going to take them. Well, regardless, you're going to fold them. You definitely want to fold them so that you can do this fast. You're going to do them both at one time. I'm going to put the piece of paper in. I have to get my, my thought process. So, yeah. I'm going to put them both in the tray. All right, and I do have the zebra stripe border maker cartridge in. Now, what I want you to do is not to notch the, the first and the last. All right, you're going to notch all of the ones in the middle. Last week, we mixed border maker cartridges. So you know that you do not have to do every single one. All right, so we're going to do this. And now we're gonna do the top and the bottom. Again, we are not doing the first and the last spot. Skip the first, skip the last. This um, pretty hot pink polka dot paper is from Super Duper Girl, in case you're looking for some hot pink. I know the company is getting ready to add some pink to the line, but not yet. So if you are waiting for pink, uh, Super Duper Girl is crazy pretty. You'll like every single sheet in the pack. 
the stickers are juvenile, but the paper is just color schemed, uh, very um, feminine, contemporary, feminine, bright. All right, so I skipped the first. Okay. So then what you have, when you open it up, is this look right here. All right. Um, if you want, now, if you were going to build in your book, then whatever color the pages in your book are would show through. So white would show through really pretty right there. If you don't want white, if you wanted another color, um, you could either build on cardstock or you can cut one inch strips to save some money. So I'm gonna do, oh my goodness. All right, one inch strip. I think I need three one inch strips to make this work. All right, and then you wanna stack them because we're gonna do the same thing to all of them. We're gonna cut off four inches. No, we're not either. I was thinking of the other sheet that we were gonna do earlier. On this one, we need eight inch strips. How do I know? Because the border maker cartridge does two inches at a go. So if you do the whole border, that's 12 inches, but I didn't do here and I didn't do here. So I know that I do not need four inches of strips for this, all right? And then what you would do is grab your repo because these are really obnoxious. Um, so I'm gonna just go like this. And then just plop the strips on top. They're gonna fit it perfectly. Okay. So then you'll you'll get this look. All right, so that's how I did that one. The next double page spread is um, a variation of that one. And I used the Serene Waters layout. Um, so this is a variation where it's just on the sides here. Um, I used the Friendly Fish border punch. Um, I didn't really do a border. Um, I did a partial border and I kind of snipped the fishes to separate them to fill this space down here. Um, nothing um, out, you know, there's nothing here that you don't know how to do. You know, these are just standard mats from the mat pack. This was um, paper that I cut into an oval using our circle and over cutting system. Um, this is a mat from the mat pack. It's a little journal box already made. I added a sticker. I popped with some foam pads. Um, some decoration, some coral and uh, sea life down here and a, a fish there and a cute stinking little sea turtle there. The serene waters is a really pretty, pretty line. So let me show you this one. Another really simple thing to do. And it would be better if I had picked a piece of paper that I liked on both sides. And it's not that I don't like both sides here. I just don't think that's a pretty comp comp combination. But this is a pretty combination. So you see what it looks like. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I am simply going to fold my paper in half. If you're not a good folder, then you could score it in half to, to make sure it's right. And you want to stay away from the folded edge. Okay. We're going to cut here. We're going to cut here and we're going to cut here. The only edge we're not cutting is the folded edge. And you don't have to fold it. I'm just showing you a speed technique. OK, so we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to double check. Is my folded edge over here? Yes, because I'm cutting here. All right. And again, we are going to skip a place. I encourage you to try this technique with some other punches. I really love the zebra stripe. I think um, not only could it make great zebras, but I think it could make great anything. I think it's just a really pretty design. All right, and now we're gonna do, just, just put your paper in the tray here. And again, don't change your pattern. We're skipping the first and the last. Actually, actually, huh. 
you know what? I think hmm, oh, we're going to skip only the first, you guys. Skip only the first. Okay? So you don't do your corner. Let's do the other side. So just duplicate what you did over here and you're going to be good. So we're skipping up here this time. Because I do want to do the folded corner. Okay, so we're just leaving that guy off. Right, let's see what we got. So now we have this and then I'm going to cut it in half. And somebody came to me at my crop last week and said that her trimmer that she bought for me did not have these little things where you can tell where you're cutting at. And if you thought you didn't have them, you really do. You probably have never pulled them out and they're tucked up under this little ledge. So you're gonna have to pull it out um, and then they get pushed back up under there. That's where they hide. But these have little, you probably can't see it on the screen. But they have a little black line right smack in the middle. And that is telling you exactly where it's going to cut. And on this paper, I don't have a lot of wiggle room for error. I really need it to be right smack in the middle. All right. I want it to go right smack in this little crack right here. All right. So once you have it, and you can use both of them on both ends. So once you have it right, you can be assured that you are cutting it properly. All right. And um, so then... You can put these anywhere on your page. Okay, you can put it anywhere on your page that you want. You can leave the corners here. You could add embellishments in your corners. What I did on the page that you saw is I just folded the corners in to give a different look. I'm not a green hater. I just don't think this is all that great of a color combination, but at least you can see what it can do. Is that cute? All right, and then um, and then the little trick that I told you about the strips, cut two or three. I think you're going to need three. Um, and this time you are also going to cut off at the four inch, but this time you're going to use both of them, so there will be no trash. So the ones that I did earlier, I actually could use as well. And so again, same strategy, go ahead and um, use the repo to cover your holes. Super fast. I love repo. It's the bomb. And then you can see how pretty that is. All right, is that cool? Do you love it? All right, so that's all I've got today. It was a little dicey whether I was going to have something for you today. Um, um, I've had a quite a morning. Um, but anyways, um, thank you so much for tuning in. And um, I guess that's all. I'm, I'm speechless today. <laughs> so have a, have a great rest of the week and see you next Tuesday. Bye.